will be remembered as the year of unprecedented events, a series of influential changes brought upon the earth that exceed our expectations and therefore cannot be dismissed. Since April of last year, when I first began narrating weekly video presentations, I have attempted to incorporate pieces of the puzzle that would strongly suggest the presence of a celestial intruder in our solar system a foreign traveler that has the potential to create havoc on the Earth in the manner of climate upheaval and radical Earth changes. There are those who adamantly disregard the theory of a planet X as the cause of dramatic Earth changes. But in doing so, they do not offer an alternative reason for the changes that are happening. Even NASA will admit that something very big is perturbing the solar system, although they will not admit to the probability that an intruder has already been discovered. Now, I have conducted years of research and study on the subject of Planet X with the intent of determining whether a binary star system was perturbing the inner solar system. Unfortunately, there are some individuals who devote the bulk of their time to surfing the web for information that will discredit the work and the intent of the researcher. To be candid, there are a number of sensationalists on the Internet whose real intent is to exploit the theory of Planet X in order to garner attention and notoriety, which then serves their own self-interests. Irrespective of their intent, my research is genuine, which purpose is intended to seek the truth with respect to the strange behavior of our planet in recent years. The changes that we are experiencing do not happen suddenly. It is a gradual process that often goes unnoticed by most of us. When a catastrophe does occur, such as the horrific wildfires that are now happening in Northern California, if such an event does not affect us directly, then it is quickly forgotten and it just becomes another sensational headline for the media outlets. Is the media eager to discredit the theory of Planet X and anyone who supports it? It seems that publishers go out of their way to humiliate and degrade researchers accusing them of setting fraudulent dates for the demise of planet Earth, and then going as far as to label them as charlatans. This would then be considered an orchestrated effort by media moguls to protect their own interests, a misinformation campaign conducted through the use of catchy headlines such as this one, with the intent to confuse and bewilder those who follow this story. If Planet X does not exist, then why are astronomers and astrophysicists from the most prestigious institutions in the world searching for it? On October 11th, a local news affiliate out of Colorado Springs published an interesting article. A local astronomer living atop a hillside overlooking Waldo Canyon has built a two-story personal observatory with the primary purpose of locating Planet X through the use of astrophotography. The telescope mounted at the top of the observatory under a movable dome has the ability to take pictures almost similar to the quality of pictures produced by the Hubble Space Telescope. Because of the advanced technology that this astronomer has acquired, he is now in talks with the University of Colorado to use his telescope in the search for Planet X. According to NASA, Caltech researchers have found evidence suggesting that there may be a Planet X in the solar system which they have tabbed Planet 9, which they describe as having a mass ten times that of the Earth and located in a region beyond Neptune. What is so remarkable about the private telescope in Colorado Springs is that it never would have been constructed if it hadn't been for a massive Waldo Canyon wildfire five years ago 
that destroyed more than 300 homes in this neighborhood. Having been given the opportunity to rebuild, this avid astronomer decided that he would pursue his lifetime interest of having a personal telescope on his property for observing the heavens. So, rather than devoting one's time to debunking the existence of Planet X, here is the story of one man's devotion to finding the elusive planet, possibly with the assistance of scientists from the University of Colorado. I want to devote some time uh, to the ongoing wildfire catastrophes that are happening in Northern California, because the Cable news networks are not covering this tragic event nearly enough, and I feel it deserves more attention than what it is getting from the media. At the time of this presentation, 43 people have perished in these fires and thousands have been left homeless. More than 250 people are still missing. More than 3,500 homes and structures have been destroyed and almost 222,000 acres have burned. This is the most destructive and deadly wildfire in California history. But these numbers are just a reminder of how devastating wildfires are in terms of loss of life, the destruction left in their wake, and the environmental impact it causes to entire regions that are caught up in this inferno. Take a look at this remarkable aerial video captured by Douglas Thrawn showing the fire devastation in Santa Rosa, California on October 10th. The video speaks volumes and reminds us of just how vulnerable we are when confronted by the power 